Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can back up your emails in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. Backing up your emails regularly is a sensible thing to do and Google makes it pretty easy. You can use the backup process to create a one-time backup for all of your emails or even schedule a regular automatic backup to run every few months. To create a Gmail backup, you need to go into your Google account details. You can do that by moving your mouse to the top right of the Gmail inbox. You'll see there are a number of icons shown here, but the one we're interested in is the Google account profile picture. Let's click on that once to open it. A panel is then shown that has a number of options, but I'm going to choose to manage my Google account. Clicking this opens a new page. This is your Google account homepage. And from here, you can manage all your Google details, including Gmail. The backup process can be found in the data and privacy section of your Google account. On the page that then loads, we need to scroll down to near the very bottom of the page. You'll see this is quite a long page. Eventually, we reach the section that covers downloading or deleting your data. I'll choose the option to download my data. This then loads the backup process page for Google, which is called Google Takeout. This covers all the data you create and use across all of the Google products you own. The first step for us is to select the Gmail email data that we want to download. By default, you'll see that all of the Google products you own are selected for downloading. So the first thing I'm going to do is to choose to deselect them all. Next, I need to find Gmail in this list of products. Confusingly, it's not called Gmail, it's actually referred to as Mail. And if you scroll down this alphabetically listed page, you'll come across it eventually. Once you find it, click on the checkbox to the right of it to select it. There are two options in this section. Looking at the option on the right, this indicates what email data you're downloading to back up. By default, all mail data is selected, but you may want to change that to remove trash or spam folders. I'm happy to download all data. So I'll click on OK at the bottom of this box to confirm that. To finally proceed with the backup, I need to do a bit of scrolling to near the bottom of this page, and you'll see a next step button. Click on this to continue. Having chosen your Gmail email data to download, you now need to confirm how you want to download it. The first option allows you to change the destination for your backed up email data. By default, Gmail will send you a link to your email account, but you can also choose to download the backup file directly to Google Drive or a number of other storage options. Be wary of doing this, however, as a Gmail backup can be a significant size and will use up a lot of storage space. I'll choose to send the download link to my email account. Next, Google asks how regularly you want to run the email backup. You can choose to just run this backup once in this instance, or you can set that up as a regular schedule backup every two months. The next option is the file type. You can choose to download your email backup as a zip file or as a TGZ file. Zip files are by far the most common and will work on the vast majority of computers. Lastly, Google asks you to decide if you want the backup to be broken into a number of smaller 2 gigabyte files or a group of larger files. If I choose the 4 gigabyte option, you'll see a warning that older computers may struggle to open files of this size or larger. It's always safest to break up your email backup into no more than 2 gigabyte file sizes. So I'll choose that. Once I'm happy with all my options, to proceed with my backup of my Gmail emails, I'll click on the Create Export button. Google confirms that the backup for my Gmail emails is in progress, and that once done, I'll receive an email with a download link. Depending on the number of emails in your Gmail account, this download link may not be received for a number of hours. After some time passes, you'll see an email is received in my inbox, and I'll click on that to open it. And to download the export of my emails, I'll click on the Download Your Files button. 
As this is your personal data, Google will ask you to enter your password once more to make sure it is you that is asking to download the email data. A zip file will then be downloaded to your computer. I hope you have found this Wago guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.